And I'm telling you, you're a piece of <laughs> bartender yeah. with a lousy yeah. attitude. Yeah. Well, you the best with a lousy attitude. That's OK. Now what? I got money now in my what? pocket. You so what? I got money in my pocket, you mother. You're no. hurting the owner in this bar. Trey, Trey. Oh, there you go, mother. Yeah. So there's Bruno. Why is he cooking? We had a full-time chef, and there was a big falling out, and he, we couldn't afford another chef. That means order up, Yach. How we doing? I'm all right. How are you? How are we doing? Hi. There's Liz. Liz is a bartender. I love Liz. She was originally a customer. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Who's that, sir? Peanut. That's, that's our stripper pole. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be surprised when he touches, so. No, I'm just saying. There's Chris. She's a big girl. She can handle a big one. Oh, I came out really wrong. I apologize. It pisses a lot of people off. Maybe you shouldn't be working at a bar. It's the most magical place on the planet. earth. It's March. He probably should have been in the kitchen than ever being out on the floor. <laughs> Shots for the bartender. Peanuts drinking. For now. He allows that. He always has. I have never worked behind a bar where I was allowed exactly. to drink. He stays in the kitchen all night long. And that's what happens. She doesn't run the place. So I reached out to about 200 people. And they're in line outside of the bar right now. Oh my god, are you kidding? I'm simulating that the theater just broke. OK. Because that's one of the built-in opportunities exactly. that this it's bar a has. He's got a full staff. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, it is going to get so ugly now. I knew it was going to hit the fan. I knew it. Everybody started coming in, and then we got hit. Then it was like, oh my god, we're going down. Saw we're all going to die with smiles on our face. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Is it people stupid? still walking yes, inside? There is. I don't know. This bar is now four deep. Tell you something. Chill out. Tell you see everybody else behind you? Chill the out. You'll get it when I get to you. You'll get it when I get to you? Is that to a customer? Yeah. I think so. You can't treat a guest like that. It does not matter if you're no, busy. It doesn't. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Oh, God, you people. Look at the customers. Lots of people waiting. It's a mess. Customer is reaching over the bar and helping herself. It's a free for all. All right, I'm taking five minutes. <laughs> this shit, yo. Now let's see if Bruno helps. He's holding on to oh, the pole. Get the pole. Hope he doesn't touch food after touching that pole. Sure. All right, I gotta make some food. Yeah. He's not going out there and running the bar. He's hiding. I haven't seen him wash his hand once. I don't even believe this. He's not even using his gloves. This dish should also have the essence of a stripper pole. Oh, no, he put his hand on top of the food. Oh, jeez. That's disgusting. Order up, Yach. Every time he touches something, he's contaminating something else. After these orders, I might kill the kitchen. They just stopped taking orders. Nick, that's the way they do it here. He's facing total economic ruin, and he's drinking a beer. We have to stop this. Rescuing this bar is critical for the economic stability of Claudia, a 10-year-old who's counting on her father to come through, and he's yet to do it. Oh, boy. Sherry's here. Sherry doing it. Is that great? Are you surprised Sherry's here? Am I surprised? I think the word shock comes to mind. Seriously? She has no business being here. Say hello to your ex-wife. Turn around and get the f out. How do you think he's running this place? Not so well. Easy to say from the outside looking in. It's filthy in here. Get out of your mind. Your attitude sucks. The pot on the kettle black. You couldn't bartend because you couldn't make change. Are you kidding well, me? You know what? She's sitting here right now Great. actually trying to help you. No, she's not trying to help me. She's trying to accuse me like she always does. Bull she said a lot of bull for a long time. I'm watching your bartenders drink, girls on stripper poles, and you don't have a clue. And this is what you do. You come into the kitchen and drink. That's how you come through for your little girl. I think you're so used to fixing bars that you forget what it's like to work place every day. Come on, I've owned more than you'll ever own. I'm sure you have. But I'm saying, well, you've been doing this for so long, maybe you forget how hard it is to the do it on a daily basis. The difference is I won't stand back here and 
Great. Whoa, I'm hammered. I can't do my job. Somebody better close for me. I, 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 okay, John, you know what? Go yourself. Let's leave. You're full I can't sit there and listen to lies. I'm your chance, and you blew it. She is such a bitch. I have an owner with serious anger issues and a staff that's yelling at their customers. Bruno needs an attitude adjustment, and these employees need to understand what's on the line. Come on out, everybody. Let's talk. What's your name? Uh, Chris. Hi, Chris. How long have you been here? Ten years. Ten years? What do you do? Anything Bruno needs me to do, whether it be bar backing, bartending, running errands, doing the kitchen, doing the floor, being at the door. God, you do everything. Hi, I'm Peanut. Peanut! And how long have you worked there? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. And what do you do, Peanut? I bartend and serve. Okay. So um, why is this bar failing? I, it's something I've asked myself all the time. Why is it failing, Chris? Help me. We lost our original clientele. And why do you think we lost them? So a turmoil that followed as a result of him and uh, Sherry splitting. Clientele got divorced from the bar. Kind of went hand in hand. People loyal to Bruno stayed here, and the people that were loyal to Sherry didn't. So Sherry and Bruno issues aside, she was a good friend of the house manager. For the most part, she had a people person skill that a lot of us were lacking, so. You not controlling your attitude is the reason why you've been failing in this okay. car. Even before Sherry got here. You don't know the whole story, so. I don't need to know the whole story. Here's what I need to know. Your daughter's future relies on your success. I don't want Claudia's father to fail. It's not gonna happen. If I walk out of here, now it will. Last night was a colossal meltdown, wasn't it? Brought to you from the streets of Glenside. Yo, chill the f out, for real. Chill, chill the f out. I saw you be rude to a customer. He was being rude all night. Ten other customers heard you treat a customer that way, so you made yourself look like a fool. You're right, Chris. If you own this bar, what would you do? I'd fire all of us. We got a problem here. Yeah. Here's a uh, wire. Get out of it. Check it out, he's not lying. I'm not kidding. Looks like they got some fruit flakes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See it? I'm sure. <laughs> How's that one, Pablo? That one's better. He's just put the bottle back in the well. So he's prepared to serve that to the next guest. Sure. And hopefully get away with it. How do you do that to a customer? There's Guppy, bartender. Well, at least the Guppy's bigger than a man. <laughs> also, from Ireland. <laughs> Life at a party. There's Colleen, bartender. You're very sweet. Thank you very much. And there's Summer, another bartender. Wow. He's four and a half a glass. Oh my god, that's not that's a like shot. Four ounces. Jesus. He's gulping four ounce drinks. Wow. Packy's in the kitchen all night long. Guppy's out there drinking, partying, having fun. It's gonna be a debauchery night, yay! How does he manage his business that way? He doesn't. He's hiding in the kitchen, and he's not facing what's happening outside. I'm surprised he's walking straight, Guppy. Guppy isn't over drinking. He's drinking to the point that he's hurting himself. He needs to understand that and stop. So guys, I got a great plan for recon tonight. You want to hear what it is? What's that? You. There is nobody better to do recon in an Irish bar than you guys. That's true. What you need, boys? I have to have a dry martini. I'm making a dry, dirty martini. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Uh, do you want wings? Yeah. Yeah, two, please. Do you have anything else? Nah. That's it. Oh, that's grand. Yeah, whatever you have. Watch out. He's going to put me to bed with that one. That's a monster. What is it? Dirty martinis. Oh. Extra dirty. Oh, that dirty martini doesn't look like that. that it looks like a margarita for crying out loud. Oh, for <laughs> sake. I mean, that's, uh... I'm just getting rid of the flies. <laughs> You're getting up with them on your dinner every night. Go! I spat that one once, that one twice. Just that yes, that's that's the order. Time. Greasy. The sauce is all burnt into it. No good. The food is There's no Irish food in this bar whatsoever. If you go into an Irish bar, I want Irish food. I want Irish passion on a plate. Hello. Hey, Gavin. How are those wings? Dry. 
and just cooked every single bit of moisture out of them. He cooked them to death. So what about Guppy? He's been drinking all night. The guy must have had maybe 15 shots. I've seen him take three since we've been here. You've seen him have three in the short time you're there. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to work. I'm not changing. Gump. Are you going to find the Guinness? See how everything calmed down now? Like, now we're all scared of this bollocks. <laughs> I want to run. <laughs> That does that. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's it's Packy. How's it going? Mr. Yeah, Tapper. Tapper. How you doing, John? How's it going? John, please. I'd like you to meet two dear friends of mine. Oh, jeez, really? Jerry? Oh, Jerry, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Gavin? Nice you. Gavin, how's it going, John? Go. Talk about what your experience was here in the bar. There was flies in the drink. But the number one thing for me is the chicken. Overcooked, dry. There's something Irish about it. I said it as soon as I walked in. There's something Irish about this bar. It yeah. looks like it's an American opened an Irish bar. What bottles have fruit flies in them? Show them to me. Probably every one of them. You put them back there with the flies in them, didn't you? Yeah. So you serve the drink to a guest, and he puts it back down there and serves it to the next guest. He's pissing on your business, isn't he? Yeah. Pulls his freaking pants down behind the bar. That's you. How many shots did you have tonight? At least 10. At least 10. Big shot on your freaking money. Exactly, yeah. It's like I come in and I make a dollar. I don't give a shit. And it's like, we use this kind of like, you got a basement? Let's have a basement party. Jerry, I want you to go behind the bar, take every bottle with bugs in it, and put it on top of the bar. Let's line them all up. This fruit flies in the drinks. They're serving it that way, and they don't even care. I want to use tonight as an example of what is so wrong with this bar and every person in it. So how many got up there now? Nine so far. Nine so far, and he's just starting. Watch that one out. Look at the bugs in this bottle. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh my God. Oh. This is the future of your family. Do you understand that? Yeah, John, I do. Oh my God. That's disgusting. That's gross. Pretty much every drink you order tonight has flies in it. So you already blew this money. I'm just burning it a second time because you already did. Look at this place. It is beat up. Oh, look. Who? Does the smoke get to you? Sorry, my life. Nevada is one of the last smoking states left because of gaming. But the customers are complaining because the bar doesn't have the proper smoke ventilation. This is below the hospitality mark of Nevada. And look at where the beer taps are. The bartenders have to walk all the way to the back of the bar just to get someone a beer. Hey, those drinks that you just served, did you ring them up? Which ones? So there's Dan. He owns the bar. He was a major league baseball player. Made about $14 million, and he's lost everything. Wow. Tom Collins and Greyhound. Yep, and for this table right here. Man. He's got a labor job for construction. He makes about three grand a month. His bar is losing 4,500 a month, and his parents' house is now on the line. He's losing his ass. The question is, can we change that? Yeah. Hey, girl. All right. hey, cleaning. The redhead right there is Aaron, his wife. Aaron, stop your ass. Now, she doesn't technically work here, but she obviously has a vested interest in this bar. You want another one? Sure. There's Winter. Yeah. And that's Tara. They're bartenders. Get sleazy. Get sleazy. All right, take a shot. Keep it sleazy. They call the two of them the bullpen twins. <laughs> Make sure every drink that you pour, you bring out, okay? Okay. Winter and Tara live with Dan and Aaron. Probably not the best move in the world. Not at all. Oh, boy. That's Hannah, another bartender. There's Jessica. She's a bartender. Obviously, she's very proud of her two friends there. Yeah, that I see. What's up? <laughs> she just looks a mess, doesn't she? You said come cause me. I made you a cherry kamikaze. Drink it. Drink, drink it. Bitch. What? 
I can't do this. What the oh. are you doing, bitch? I'm gonna pull my ass up right now. We are hanging out all over the place. Hey, hey. Tom, you want to take a shot off me? Jeff, <laughs> do something. You wonder why we don't have any glasses? Because they're right here. No glasses. Quit tripping over. Do your job. I see Dan trying, but he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. The effort doesn't mean anything if his staff doesn't respect him. I'll do the glasses. Go get a drink. Order some drinks. Whatever the you do. These girls need to work harder. You don't need to be I'm trying, but I got a babysitter too. They're running out of glasses. I've already done three. Hey, then talk to them. All right. I just came here to have a drink with my wife and hang out. And I ended up working. Again. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now, John. <laughs> this is their job, their livelihood, and they're treating it like it's a, it's a playground, man. It's pissing me off. I will f you up. <laughs> All right, this needs to be mopped up. It's a joke. Oh my God, look at that. What the f is she doing right now? Dan is losing 4,500 a month as this is happening, and he's not doing a damn thing about it. Does that seem like a major leaguer to you? It's a major idiot is what it seems like. Are you a redheaded slut? Because I'm not. I'm a blonde-headed slut. That's all I got to say. Hey, where do our shots go? I could drink all night long. <laughs> the bartender is a face drunk. That's irresponsible. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Well, I don't even know how they're even serving anybody right now. Why don't you guys split off like you're supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> they're all too drunk. Pull your head out of your ass oh, and do something. And look at Dan. He's just running back and do forth. Something. Scheming but accomplishing nothing. What the f are you doing? What I want to know is what the f are you doing? Are you serious? This guy is sinking and he can't do anything. I'm going in. Totally going shot nanigans. Because it comes with a little uh, shenanigan. <laughs> wow. So there's Bob. He's our owner. <laughs> Bob's parents bought this bar for him nine years ago for $350,000. They're now in debt $680,000. They say that in six months, they're finished. But clearly, he's not fighting to turn anything around, because look at this place. The inside isn't Irish. So what the hell is this place? Is that their service well in the middle of the bar? Yeah. They're wasting space. Service stations should always be at the end of the bar to maximize seating capacity. Look at all that foam coming out of the taps. That means their CO2 pressure is off or the lines are dirty. I wonder what Bob does all day other than lose $6,000. I'm a terrible waitress, so I only brought you two at a time. So there's Rain. I'm missing my onion rings. She's coming right there with them. Rain is the manager. And then I'll be right back with the rest of the stuff. She's also Bob's girlfriend. Hi, you guys. How are you? There's Danielle, one of our bartenders. Really, really tired. <laughs> oh, what an evil! There's Paula. Another bartender. She's on the wrong side of the bar, isn't she? Yeah. What'd you say? So this is not like Beardo where you took the girl home. And there's Tara, the other bartender. <laughs> you stupid. There's only one bartender working. Can I get you guys another drink? I uh, yeah, had no orders. Everyone else seems to be elsewhere. I don't see him working. Is there like a drink menu or we something? Do not don't, have no drink menu. menu. Okay. Don't have a drink menu. Specials? Purple Rain yeah. is like kind of one that's exclusive to here. We're the only one that has it. Who do you want to like one shot and one drink? Are they mixing grenadine into the vodka and using it as a signature vodka? That's illegal. The only thing that should be in a bottle is the actual spirit itself. I'm a little concerned about this purple rain mix because Bob made it, and he made it with an obscene amount of well vodka. Perhaps if it was a signature cocktail that they do in high volume, it should be labeled and dated in a different container. Bottle, of course. OK, lady. It's certainly colorful. Look at her face. Wow, that is very sweet. That's a really unattractive mm -hmm. cocktail. You wow, nailed it. Yes. 
Do you want me to do it? No, cranky. I have to keep coming back here and do the job for a little bit. Tara, why is your butt hanging out, bitch? That bitch. How do they speak to each other that way in front of customers? And where's Bob? Can you go help the girls? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You've been in here forever. We could have these guys work together. Give me nope, your phone. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Get out of the booth. Go do some dishes or something. Rain is dealing with the problems in this bar. Bob does nothing. What are these shenanigans? <laughs> we can do some kamikazes or something. You down? I'll pay for them. Let's do it. You want to do it? He's not doing another one, is he? Oh, dear. Take two of these back? <laughs> oh, I'll take this. That was an awful long pour. Oh, that, yeah. I see how it works, I guess. That was eight to nine ounces he just poured. Uh -huh. Drinking up his parents' money pretty good, huh? We got the shots tomorrow, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if his buddies are happy. Thanks, Bob! Thanks, Bob! Yeah. 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 I don't know. Thanks, boys! <laughs> Bob's playground. One for you, one for me. And mom and dad are paying for it. Danielle, I came up here to see if you could start a tab. No, because you never pay your tab. <laughs> You're calling me a vagina? Your vagina is falling out right now. This is disgusting. Prettier when you smile, Tara. You're prettier when you're not a whore, bitch. You just called me a whore? That's funny. That's funny. Why well, you gotta be such a bitch? Who has problems with everybody in this bar? Do I? Do I? I have problems with everybody in this bar. Bob? I'm tired of being the only one that's working right now. Hey! I don't give a Tara's crazy, dude. Enough. I'm not crazy. Enough. I just won't put up with your bull this guy's taking shot after shot. His bartenders are calling each other's whores. No, I'm going right over here. I'm staying over here. And he's losing $6,000 a month. Party's ending now. I'm going in, guys. You started oh. with everybody in this damn oh, I don't want to deal Tara. with this. Do you want to get told you Olesa and the Anshi to work? So there's Sissy. She's owned this place for about two years. I'm not lying. So I'm mean person. She's going to run out of money soon. So this is how she's dealing with it, by drinking and cursing at her employees, in essence. Her problem is she manages her business very often through her security system. She watches everything on the screen and then brings it up when something isn't right. The problem is that that is a crutch. It's not a management tool. It's a security tool. Why am I living back here? <laughs> so there's Heather. She's the manager. You want some shot? Yeah. What kind of shot? When she's engaging with the guests. That's always a plus. F you, dude. We had that class here on the establishment. There's Alyssa. She's a bartender. Oh, okay. working while I'm drinking. These guys are mostly officers. And there's Anna, both bartenders. I need a shopper. There's almost more bartenders in the room than there are customers. So here's my recon guys, Dave Paulette and Mike Costa. They're from Extra 1360 Radio, Fox Sports San Diego. Being sportscasters, Dave and Mike have huge social reach. You never know who's sitting at your bar. You know, as a bartender, if you make sure they're taken care of, they're going to go away, they're going to blast it on social media. Next thing you know, you're packed all the time. They should be able to give us a good scope on this bar. What's up, guys? How's How are you doing? Good. What are we drinking? You know, I'll do Manhattan. Manhattan. What do you recommend? What's your specialty? I love flavored Long Island. All right. Anything else? Uh, we have this drink. Uh, it's really pink. It's pretty manly. No, let's go. We'll go with the Long Island. That's not a Long Island iced tea. It's not a Long Island iced tea. And if you're supposed to make something comparable to that, you're not going to do a glass of juice. The pink man later. These guys asked for a Long Island iced tea, and they got a pink drink with a cherry and an orange on top. Did you order this? No, I didn't order this one. Is you it? said you didn't want it? No, I thought you gave me the Long Island one. I'm no. really good at this. <laughs> These girls are clueless. Looks like she's making a Manhattan, but coming straight out of a bottle. How do you measure that? I've been bartending for a lot of years, John, and I cannot measure coming straight out of a bottle without a pour spot. And look at what she's doing with the sugar. That's complete cross-contamination. It's disgusting. <laughs> Old fashions get sugar, not Manhattans. Now that glass, the that glass, glass. could have glass could have chipped in there. <laughs> she's not stirring it. She's shaking it. Guys, we have bartenders that haven't been trained. Uh, let me know how that is. If it's not good, I'll make you another one. <laughs> Boy, there you go. What is this? These guys with <laughs> the drinks. You gotta be kidding me. I don't have a lot of mixed drinks around here. I don't know. It's been a minute. Yes. Oh boy. You don't like it. It's okay. It's a little strong. None of the drinks I ordered were correct. It was terrible. Everything was terrible. Not out of place they look. 
They look uncomfortable with those drinks in front of them. Oh, no, I was going to ask if you guys have, like, do you have a menu or food or anything? Is the kitchen going to be open right now? No, it's a lot. Not at all? No. No, no food. There's no food for them to eat. And what's even more sad is that Sissy closed the kitchen. When you order some food, you're going to stay 52 minutes longer. I was just yeah. Have another drink or two. She's not seizing the opportunity. Did you see her pour that drink? It was a 12 count. Three to four ounces in one drink, not only illegal and irresponsible, right? That customer can never have another drink. Yeah. That's her one sale of the night. Here, and a bottle and bar. Yeah. Thank you. This one, I don't think I can f that. Not, no offense, but I have anything that tastes to my liking yet. You know? I love martinis, like dirty martinis. You know what? I'll go dirty martini. No, no, I'm not wrong, not you to keep talking. All right, this one's going to be the one. It's going to be the key. This, that olive juice has been sitting in that container God knows how long. Okay. Taking it! Back and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Bottom of a rocks glass is not a tool to strain. It's unsanitary, it's unprofessional, it's disgusting. Terrible, dude. So, what do you think? You machine rescue toilet water? So, they've now gotten three drinks. All three are terrible. Yeah. yeah I want to get my buzz on and like drink and go meet up with my friends. What do you think those friends? idiots are doing? The regular person you have and they work here. Faster! Shut up, don't ask some over. Hey! Shut up! You wanna work too? That's cool! Alright, who wants some shots? Oh, they suck. And the ash you work? I think it's a little bit early for all that nonsense. Yeah. The girls are lining them up in the bathroom. They're smart because there's no cameras in the bathroom. And they know there's cameras everywhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Sissy was paying attention, instead of sitting at her desk, she would see what they're doing right behind her back. No, I'm about to vomit on you if you keep talking. <laughs> yes, thank you. We don't have plastic glass anymore, right? What? No, we don't have any plastic glasses anymore. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't give me any glass that we take it. I'm gonna put it in my shoe. Okay, is she drinking with them? Oh yeah, she's been drinking the whole time. It's as bad as it gets. But I need a little bit of wine to relax. Yeah. I need a little relax. That's super annoying. Yeah. Try to make me drunk. Can you jump on the, on the, on the bar? Yeah. Dancing on the bar. Over intoxication, irresponsibility. And the act of this bar are never no. going to achieve 85% married, 34 years old, $62,000 a year income. They're acting like this is a bar for 23 year olds, but it's not. No. And Sissy doesn't have a clue. She doesn't even know it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she okay? They have no clue what the hell they're doing. Nick, the kitchen isn't open tonight, so why don't you wait here and fill? I say you and I go in and let's show Sissy how much she doesn't know about running a bar. Let's do it. This is Detroit. We always have great music here, and everybody's there to have a good time and hear some great music. You can't really see the music from here. This is really great. Really it is. Really good. Sitting at the bar, I couldn't really hear or see the music. And as a musician, you know, I think the focus should, should be on the music. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Hello. I'm waving my hand. Hello. The bartender is four feet from them. And he won't even acknowledge them. Someone help me up again? Yes, ma'am. What can I get for you, sir? I'm sorry. I would like something small, maybe a fun martini. What can I get for you, sir? Um, uh, something with bullet. OK, so what is this guy doing? He's pouring out of a bottle that doesn't have a pour spout. Made a drink in the sink where the dirty dishes go. He's turning his back to the guests when he's making their drinks. I like to see my drink made in front of me. You don't know what he's pouring or what he's putting in it. Your, your drink looks awful. Thank you. Oh, hit Robert's face. <laughs> A little bit sweet. They don't like the drinks. He is doing every single thing wrong. This whole order just came back. It's supposed to have been 
crime world. Those are crime rules. I know what I put. That's crime rule. This is ginger ale. Now, Robert and Jill are watching this. They're having this argument, not in front of them, across them. You have See, cranberry this is cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. With the ice OK, well, I told you Tamika made them, so. Oh, I'd have mercy. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you'll be making these drinks yourself. I'll tell you what, I'll do a better job. I doubt it. Look at Robert. He would never come back to a bar like this. So I have no idea when our food will probably come out. So can you just give us a status of our order? I still have my drink. That table has been waiting for their drinks almost 40 minutes. OK, just, but Tamika would take care of it. No, Tamika would take I, care that of was part of me taking care of it. Tamika is supposed to be running this place. Give me chicken wings, please. Uh, this is your mom order right here. Now, I heard her tell you to take the wings out. I know, I heard her tell And when I took the wings out, they had to defrost. What? I'm not no Superman. You don't have to be Superman. You just have to do your job. Oh, this. This guy's got a freaking attitude. Can I get a drink, bro? This has been here for like 45 minutes and I still ain't drink. Right. Do you remember his drink? What did he have? Some apple pucker mixed with whiskey. Okay, okay what about it? No, I'm still here for like five minutes. Sir. This ain't nothing to me. Sir, I did not see you standing here. You saw me walk back and forth like hey, bro, three times. Man, man, you ain't got to get loud with me, bro, because first of all, I'm not a kid. Uh oh. Excuse me. I ain't a kid either. Bro. Hey. So, He's gonna cross the bar. He's aggressive to the guest. Hey. I'm gonna go in, guys. No, 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 we we no. can take care of this, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Let me grab you for a second. Take two seconds. Let me go out and see what kind of damage we got on the other side. So there's no bartender back here. What should I do? I could probably make a far better drink than this guy made, don't you agree? Yeah. Where's your bartender? He's right there. Question. Do you always have an attitude like this? Like what? I got a gentleman sitting at the bar. His name is Robert Hurst. Right there. Seven-time Grammy winner jazz bassist. The kind of customer you dream about. And you're arguing with the waitress across from him. Then a customer complains to you. Then you cross the bar and are aggressive to him. What's wrong with your attitude? Ain't wrong with my attitude. What's wrong with your attitude? What's wrong with my attitude is you. No, you're, you got you the owner attitude. who's losing $8,000 per month. It ain't because of me. And you're being an ass. It ain't because of me. Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it's not. Well, I think it is. I think it's and not. And I know better than you. Well, that's your job. Exactly right. And I'm telling you, you're a piece of That's okay. Now what? I got money now in my what? pocket. You won't. You got money in my pocket, you won't. Know? You're hurting the owner in this bar. Drake, Drake. Oh, there you go, mother. Yeah. Everybody doing okay? There's Tina, the bartender. Tina, where do they go? So that's Cameron, the bartender. And I understand he's your nephew? Yes. He does a good job. I want you to see this. I've had your bar under surveillance for days. And it's important to me that you watch this. Fighting with customers. Are you kidding me? Is this what you want your no. bar to be? No. No. Becker, make it. I'm not making a salad. He can make well, it. Well, then, then your customer it. doesn't get their salad, Cameron. No, it's their friends love food. You have a manager and a bartender who clearly hate each other. You're probably pissing me the f off. You're obviously you're letting it happen. If I lose them, I have nothing. Andrew, what the f are you doing? So, for recon tonight, I got two friends of mine. This is Dan from Barstool Sports, which is one of the most popular sports websites in America. I've had Dan do recon for me before. I like that. I mean, I've never had lighter fluid, but like, it's, <laughs> it's a hot drink. If Dan likes a bar, he can make it successful. If he doesn't, he can make it fail with the push of a button. Next to him is Chris Long, who's a current player with the Rams. As a Ram, Chris Long knows this town. He knows the sports market. And I've asked the two of them to come into your bar and give me feedback. Hi, guys. What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? Yeah, can I get a bud? And how about you, hon? 
type of Bud Light. Whoa, what kind of pouring is he doing? Cheese for what? Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, what do you think? Just a little uh, flat, maybe? How can you succeed pouring a bad beer in St. Louis? This is a home of Budweiser. That's an embarrassment. So I get a burger, no cheese, Mimo fries. Absolutely, thank I'll you. I'll do uh, Reuben nachos. And that's our cook, Anthony. Freeze the burn, freeze the burn. Now he's microwaving the burger meat to thaw it out. He should already have the meat prepped and thawed before service begins. This is just lazy cooking. Whoever wants to put these goggles on can have a shot for free. Cameron, no, come on. Kim tries, but she doesn't have a clue. He does not behave like this when I'm there. But this is the real him. Is our food coming? Is that burger done yet? So they don't have their food yet. Oh, Which no. has been, what, a good 15 minutes or so? Yes. That's totally wrong. Yeah. The cheese is wrong. You know what, F it. Just put the french fries, I'm done. What is that? That's the Reuben nachos. Oh, no. You're a restaurant person. You know how important food quality and consistency is. That is a huge issue with me. I'm the nachos. Please speak up. These chips are awful. There's so much sauerkraut in Thousand Island, and none of the cheese is cooked. How's, how's the burger? I'm not a stickler about hamburgers, but yeah. for us, it was disappointing because they were the basics. You know, how do you mess nachos up? How do you mess a burger up? It wasn't good. Excuse me, guys. Move, move, move. Hustle, hustle. What's your name? Tina. You're working hard, Tina. <laughs> Looks like Tina is your best worker. I agree. She's gotta work. That's how you do it. Come here. I'm gonna call Andrew to come down here if we don't start getting together. Shut me up. <laughs> Look, he has Kim in tears. This kid has a freaking attitude, Andrew. And his whole reason for doing this is his confidence that you will never fire him. You're not even angry. I'm too embarrassed. Well, use it to get pissed. Uh, yeah. There he is, more shots. So you realize he face drunk. He's been drinking and giving it away all night. Kim can't manage it, no matter how much she tries. You know what happens when the owner's nephew, you know, they get to do whatever they want. You know all these things, don't you? Yes, I do. And with all that knowledge, you're letting this happen. Oh, I want to hurt you! Here's my problem. I got an owner who knows the difference between a good employee and a bad, who knows the difference between a good business and a bad, and isn't doing a thing about it. I need to fix it. When? Now. OK. You are going to walk up to Cameron and your manager and take freaking control of this. Are you ready to do this? Yes. I want you angry. <laughs> what the? What are they doing? This is the perfect thing to walk into. So Cameron, back here now. Uh oh. Cameron now. Okay. About time. No more drinking. No more talking to Kim like that. No more. Seriously. I didn't even do anything. I have been sitting She's here been watching you all night. Yes, you have. Where? Have you not it seen Kim? She doesn't Shut do It doesn't matter. I will address Kim. You're giving more away than you're collecting. I didn't give anything away tonight. Cameron, I was... I've been watching you this whole evening. Yes, you did. I didn't even do anything tonight. But you, are you nuts? Enough. I want to be here and deal with it. Hi. Um, do you know how to make a skinny margarita? No. No. Yeah, we don't have like low carb, low sugar stuff. Wait, do you have lime juice? No. All right. So look at Stasia. Look at the look on her face. Seriously, what is her deal? Can you just tell me what you want so I don't have to do all that? 
Oh boy. What do you have on draft? The draft? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, we don't have any right now. You don't have any draft? No draft beer. No draft beer. Uh, do you have a Heineken bottle? So Brandy ordered her draft beer. But the draft beer system is broken. She ordered a bottle of beer. So there's no beer cooler apparently back there that's working. I don't even know why they have the taps if the taps don't work. May I have a glass? Sure. Don't disrespect me. I know. First impression was not that of an inviting atmosphere. It just made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Do you know what the guy with the Heineken's under? I, everybody is okay. I just want to tell everybody. I know. Just ask me before I go back I don't remember. Jeez. I'd have to ask him. Pretty attitude. What did you say, smart ass? cannot portray negativity on the floor with the guests involved. It's, it's just a negative message, man. So I think our to-go food is ready. You want to go get the food? Yeah, okay. I'm going to head in. Let's do it. Good luck. Did you start table one, the bikers? At the I haven't been on the floor. I mean, you have your own task. Mm -hmm. no, no, I'm no. not even going to pretend to be that nice. No, we're going to say That's just not even, no. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.